Hello everyone, welcome to Topic of the Day. In today's video, we are going to discuss about Cervavac HPV vaccine. Recently, the Union Minister Dr. Jitendra Singh announced India's first indigenously developed vaccine for the prevention of cervical cancer that is named as Cervavac. So let us discuss about the Cervavac human papilloma virus vaccine. It is developed by the Pune-based Serum Institute of India in coordination with the Government of India's Department of Biotechnology. Earlier, India has been fully dependent on foreign manufacturers for the HPV vaccine. So how effective is the new vaccine? HPV vaccines are given in two doses and data has shown antibodies that develop after both the vaccines are administered can last up to 6 or 7 years. HPV types 16 and 18 together contribute to approximately 70% of all the invasive cervical cancer cases worldwide. The booster shots may not be required for the cervical cancer vaccine. It is likely to be significantly cheaper and has also demonstrated a robust antibody response. Now, if we talk about the cervical cancer, it is a cancer that occurs in cells of cervix, that is the lower part of uterus, that connects to vagina. If we talk about its spread, it is caused by various strains of human papilloma virus, that is HPV, which is a sexually transmitted infection. And it is preventable. While the body's immune system usually gets rid of the HPV infection naturally within two years, in small percentage of people, the virus can linger over time. Now, some important facts about cervical cancer is that it ranks as second most prevalent cancer in India and accounts for nearly one-fourth of the world's cervical cancer deaths. Every year, approximately 1.25 lakh women are diagnosed with cervical cancer and over 75,000 die from the disease in India. If we talk about its treatment, Cervical cancer is one of the most preventable and treatable forms of cancer as long as it is detected early and managed effectively. WHO has also set cervical cancer elimination strategy targets for 2030, which entails 90% of girls should be fully vaccinated with the HPV vaccine by the age of 15, while 70% of women should be screened with a high-performance test by 35 years of age. Now let us talk about Indian vaccine research and development. India has made strenuous efforts to strengthen the Indian vaccine research and development over past three decades. There are initiatives like the Indo-US Vaccine Action Program, the National Biopharma Mission, the IND-CEPI Mission and Mission COVID Suraksha are being implemented to promote the basic and translational vaccine research. So this was a little bit about the topic. Now let us take up one practice question on the same. With reference to the recent developments regarding the Cervavac HPV vaccine, consider the following statements. First, it is India's first indigenously developed vaccine for cervical cancer. Second, cervical cancer is mainly caused by various strains of human papilloma virus. Third, HPV or human papilloma virus is mainly transmitted through sexual contact. And fourth, Genetic engineering is applied in the development of such vaccines. Now, which of these statements given above are correct? You can take a moment and write your answers in the comment section below. So, as we know, all the four statements are correct. Therefore, the correct answer is option D. That is 1, 2, 3 and 4. All of the above. And with this, we call it a wrap of today's edition of Topic of the Day. I hope you liked the video. I will see you with some other topic tomorrow. Till then, take care and do stay tuned.